In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to code that uh, legal disclaimer out so it doesn't pop up uh, every time you start your car. I kind of feel like a broken record saying this in all my coding videos, but nonetheless, if you're new to my channel or this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, then I want to quickly summarize this. Uh, I'm using NCS Expert, part of the INPA software suite on my E90 BMW. This should apply to all CCC-based E90s um, if you have uh, iDrive. To do this, we're going to use the following cable. It is a K plus D CAN USB interface cable that is going to connect to your OBD2 port on the car. And you're going to use an old laptop to actually uh, perform this. I'll link to a thread in the description which shows you how to set up INPA and NCS Expert. And um, I'm going to boot the laptop up now and uh, you guys can follow along. You gotta leave your car in the run position. So press it twice, turn off your headlights, make sure your interior fan is not running so you don't run down the battery. And if you aren't sure about the condition of the battery, make sure you put it on a battery charger. Okay, our cable's connected and to verify we have a good connection to the car, we're gonna load up IMPA and we're gonna look for two black dots to show that it's made a successful connection to the car. First time you load it takes a second. As long as you got that black dot on the right side, you know that you have a good connection to the car. And we can then load up NCS Expert. We're gonna go File, Load Profile, Load a Profile, which we can either select Expert Man, or if you follow that thread, you'll have the same options I'm showing you here. Revter's NCX Expert Profile, hit OK. Hit F1, hit F3, choose your chassis. If you're working on an E90 or E92, you're gonna select E89. Then it's gonna ask you where do you wanna grab the vehicle order from or the vehicle information. We can grab it from the car access system. It doesn't matter which one of these you select. Hit OK, it'll pop up your VIN and all the modules installed on the car. You hit back, and then we're gonna hit F4 or process ECU to isolate a particular ECU. The legal disclaimer warning setting is under the CAPPL, so hit OK, hit OK. Now job name is SG Codeeran, that is write mode, we want to change it to read mode, so click read ECU. That's going to change to, it's going to first of all pop up a trace file just to show you successfully downloaded the file off of your car. Close that out and it says Codeer Dayton Lesson, meaning read mode. Next thing you want to do is go to your drive C, to the NCS expert directory, go to the work directory, look for a file named fsw underscore psw.trc or trace, look for the time it was made, it should be right around the time that you pulled the file down, load it up, hit control F, and if it's not already associated via Windows for a .trc file, make sure you open it up in notepad. Now we're going to look for legal hit find next and there you go legal disk L disclaimer set to active we're going to change it to niche active or not active in German underscore make sure that you are lined up and the spacing looks the same as the other um, values close by click file save as dot man for manipulated You may already have one of these files on your computer if you've already worked with this, but if it asks you to override it, don't worry about it, just do it. Um, if you're nervous about doing this type of coding, you may want to back up that trace file somewhere else on the hard drive just to make sure, but you know, there's not too much that can go wrong here. We're good there. We've made the manipulated file right here. 
go back into NCS expert, click basic functions. We're going to want to choose Coapi read get FSW PSW. That's going to queue up that file that we just made. It should say basic function perfect ended, meaning it accepted that file and it's ready to push it to the ECU. Our job name is still in read mode for lesson. So we got to change to write mode, which is SG Coderin. Hit OK. Now if we click execute job, it's going to push that file onto the actual ECU. You may get a bong from your car, that's normal. And depending on how big the file is, it can take some time to actually push to the car. Sometimes it takes a second, sometimes it takes 30 seconds, a minute, etc. But you want to look for that to change to coding ended. There you go, coding ended. So that's all it took there. We'll cycle the key on and off, start the car, and see if we get the legal disclaimer. We're safe to disconnect. First I'd turn the key off. Disconnect your cable. Replace the cover. Let's go to the car. Keys off. We'll start it up and see if it goes right to the main BMW screen. There you go. That's all there is to it. So instead of accepting every time with your iDrive controller, um, it goes straight to the screen and you can do what you got to do. BMW obviously has to put that for legal reasons, but if you don't want that there, then if you follow this video, uh, it's going to show you how to do it. Thanks for watching and good luck.